1001 Questions and Answers on English Grammar by Benjamin Hathaway. Interjections. Question number one. What is an interjection? It is not, in the proper sense, a part of speech, since it does not combine with other parts to form the sentence. It is a word used to indicate some sudden or strong emotion, as, oh, ah, dear me, ah me. Number two. What is true of the signification of interjections? As they serve to indicate feeling, rather than to communicate thought, they cannot be said to have any closely definable signification, although different forms are used to express different emotions. 3. Name the principal interjections. The letter O, O, O-H, O, A, Ha, Hurrah, huzzah, alas, well a day, dear me, hi ho, ho, fudge, indeed, oh dear, pshaw, harumph, hush, hist, tut tut, honor, hail, hark, welcome, hallo, goodbye, good day, farewell. Adieu. 4. What do interjections express? Joy, as, ha, ha. 2. Sorrow, as, oh, ah, alas. 3. Exaltation, as, hurrah. 4. Disgust, as, fie, fudge, pshaw. 5. Wonder, as, Indeed, strange, what? Six, sudden call as hello, hem, ho. Seven, salutation as welcome, hail, all hail. Eight, parting as goodbye, farewell, adieu. Nine, attention or silence as hark, behold, hush. 5. Order, gentlemen, order. Explain the use of the emphasized words. These words are used after the manner of interjections, but they have the significance of the imperative in the expression, come to order, and should be disposed of in the same way. 6. What are the chief characteristics of the interjections? Independence, exclamation, and the lack of any definable signification. 7. Where in sentences are interjections generally placed? At the beginning. However, they may be placed after a sentence, or in between its parts, or be used alone, as, Oh, for a lodge in some vast wilderness! The victory is ours! Hurrah! We eagerly pursue pleasure, but, alas, we often mistake the road that leads to its enjoyment. 8. Should an interjection always be immediately followed by an exclamation point? It should, unless closely connected with some other word or words in the sentence, as, Fie! How angry he is! Fie upon thee, knave! 9. How is O-H to be distinguished from the letter O? A distinction between the use of O-H and O is insisted upon by some, but most of the best writers use both forms indiscriminately, though the form, letter O, is now most commonly employed. 10. Give some quotations from eminent writers in proof of the above. The letter O. O for a kindling torch from that pure flame. Wordsworth. Letter O. O what a rapturous cry. Macaulay. Letter O. O. Eldon. In whatever sphere thou shine, Macaulay. O H. O fear not in the world like this, Longfellow. Letter O. O sweet angel, Longfellow. Letter O. Thou hast all seasons for thine own, O death, Mrs. Hemans. Letter O. O tis a lovely thing for youth to walk in wisdom's way, Dr. Watts. 
Letter O. Your voiceless lips, O flowers. Horace Smith. Letter O. Carefully hoard the moments, O vain, dreaming man. J. L. Eggleston. For you the public prayer is made, O H. O. Join the public prayer. For you the sacred tear is shed. Letter O. O. Shed yourselves a tear. Cowper. Letter O. O. How unworthy of the brave and great. Pope. End of section 13.